perfect. So, um, hello, sorry for the delay, I had to reboot. Um, this will be more technical. Uh, I intend to show um, how, to, uh, how to set up uh, an actual real-life knowledge management. Uh, Here? Yeah. So, what do I do? It's green. It's green, I have it here. What else? It's normal. There is no, you just need to speak. I can speak louder. Yeah, good. Better point. Um, so, uh, yes, the thing is that this is about a communication, uh, knowledge management, etc. But with a concrete example that which I use. I am. Um, uh, I mean, I work for the Tiki community, but uh, I'm not funded by the Tiki community. I have my own customers. I work as a freelancer. I have had customers for eight years now. And I have a website that I use for communication with my customers, which works fine, and which is, of course, with Tiki, and which uses basic Tiki software uh, components, because Tiki is more like a big toolbox for doing anything you like than a focused uh, software on some, so it doesn't tell you what you want to do. So um, I switch here and the idea is that I will show how to set it up, but first I want to show what we want to set up because that's the important part. So what I found useful over the time and which actually the customers seem to appreciate is that for each of them, uh, for all their projects, I have some kind of workspace on one of my sites where they don't know about any, uh, anyone else. This is a fake company on my real site. Uh, so there are basically three, um, that's not it, uh, yes, it uh, sorry, they have a landing page when I log in, and there are three components. Uh, first, the information is uh, for long-lasting information, we have pages. Uh, we have a structure of page which, on which we can add any new page and create them. And that's where we keep track of long-lasting stuff, like, I don't know what what we agreed on, on emails, and we can navigate it uh, for a project, what's done, what's not done. They can get back to this, and that's our reference. And we can get, and the company is Acme, don't, so I don't get sued. Um, that's the long lasting. We also have documents which we exchange, like invoices or technical specs or dumps, whatever. And every time I work for them, which is not full time usually because I'm a freelancer, I add uh, an entry uh, and I tell them, okay, today I did that and that's how long it lasted. And they can do comments here on, or on the pages or, or whatever. And that's basically the essential that's uh, needed because uh, the time is important because that's what I build. And so they have an idea of how far I go and also how much they are going to pay. And they like to have this information beforehand, not in the end. Uh, so they can get any time anything changes, they get an email and I get an email, and yeah, and the privacy part is that they have a recap of uh, who is allowed to see all that. So there is the customer, which, the dummy customer, which is called Vidas Fox, and sysadmin, which is me, because I wanted to have something. And when they log in, they can see what happened, uh, what's new, what changed, and uh, yeah, basically, that's it. So what I want to show is, how we start from a fresh ticket just right after the installer and get to that. So here we have one uh, where I can log in as an admin or I could put myself in the admin group, works the same. That's the part for newcomers which we are going to, to skip. And uh, first we do some trick 
And also I wanted to mention that uh, here is a, a, a link that I put, that's the making of this presentation. If I don't get to the end or I go too fast, you can get to here. And I'm actually going to use it, uh, oh, it's not here, but because I reboot it. But I have a copy here uh, which I use uh, to go faster. So um, first, uh, the, some little trick. We are going to uh, do some setting with the themes because that's an ad admin and that's uh, another page where, uh, well, you are a customer or someone who has not logged in and we are going to separate them by using different themes. First I pass as ad advanced which will give me more uh, possibilities and I get a look and feel part and uh, what I do is that I change, uh, I give a different, very different themes for the Tiki and I allow group themes. So now the theme is very different and uh, what I do is that I go to the group of the admins here because now the group of the admins has the opportunity of changing the theme and I get back to the default theme. Yes, I want. So nothing changes here, but for the rest of the world, we, we, you know where we are. If it's white, I'm an admin. Uh, what we do now is uh, some uh, basic settings changes for the purpose of uh, setting this site the way we want it. Meaning we add the blog part, which is not default. Uh, Tiki all has everything in uh, all in one. You don't uh, find plugins on the internet. It's just uh, you activate what you need. Uh, and the group watches and the categories uh, will be required for what we want to do. And uh, that's and then the general configuration we want to use a group home page also um, because that's we want the landing pages. Wow. Well, uh, so, if you forget where stuff are, you just look for them here. It's in the general. We add those and uh, go, go to the group homepage if you're in it. And uh, what we also want to do is some <coughs> custom stuff here. in the theme so that it basically looks better and now the wiki part we want what we're going to uh, need is uh, structures Structures being the uh, the grouping of uh, wiki pages, um, uh, so that they they work together and you can navigate them, and and all that. So we also will need the comments, the structures, uh, open them, group them, categorize, and uh, have the list of pages not in structures that might help. You have the recap. Uh, so far, nothing changed here. And now we are going to uh, set up the global permissions. Meaning, uh, we actually don't want people to do anything on this site if they're not customers or if they're not uh, logged in. So gl the global uh, settings uh, are going to uh, switch off about everything. There was nothing here, there's nothing here. Uh, they can't download anything. Uh, 
they don't see wiki pages. Anonymous is people who are not logged in and uh, registered are people who are logged in. So basically we remove the search capability from Anonymous also, we put it in registered. It's not an issue because you can only search, return whatever you have access to. So uh, we can put that globally. And well, um, and now it works. Uh, you don't have access to anything. So now we have those, um, now we need to make that a little bit usable, uh, well, not so ugly. So what we do is we change the, the home page and we will use a group, um, we will use object permissions which override the global permission. So I just changed the, the style um, and I save it and now I change the permissions of this object, meaning for this specific page, uh, Anonymous can view the page. Um, they don't. Uh, what did I? Uh, Wiki can view. I don't know what I changed. <coughs> I was too fast. Uh, that's not it. That's better and not really useful. Uh, what we also do is that uh, we... I also change the... Um, uh, what we call... modules which is uh, how stuff appear everywhere, meaning that right on top we have this loading in box which is really hard to see, which I edit. I want to put that on the left. It will be on top. And uh, it will be visible, uh, well, for, for everybody, so we don't have to change this. And here it It's not on the left. Uh, here it is. D this menu is the menu 42, which uh, will be visible only for admins because uh, nobody else needs to see that. Where's the login gone? Oh, it's here. Okay, I got it. Um, it's not, it doesn't show up as a pop-up. It's, we want it as a full mo module. It has to look differently. So here we are. Yeah, as I said. Uh, We want to add those very useful modules, which are uh, the one you saw before since last visit. Uh, that's the one that tells you what changed. We'll put them, that on the right. And we only let it see by registered people. And what's always nice is, uh, well, a, a search module because because that's just the same on the right. And for registered, because as I said, anonymous don't have anything to see here. Re reload and uh, now we have this, only we don't have any, uh, well, um, that's anonymous, you can log in, but there's no login. So uh, that was the, the global part. And now, uh, how do we set up, uh, well, some new customer, some new workspace, some uh, new company? So that the first thing is that you need to set up a, a category because that's how we deal with the permissions. So we will, 
create the Acme category. We will create the group of the people from this company, which is which we will call the same, and uh, inherits this and. Uh, we will give it a group home page that's the landing page we told before uh, here. I'm trying to cheat but it's still and uh, default category of whatever they create is here and yeah that's uh, and the description is uh, yeah a member of the Acme corporation whatever because that's how we handle uh, those uh, privacy and all the concerns because we go back to the category and now we have what we call the category permissions and that's the permissions for everything that's categorized in that group and that's what the member of the group will be able to see that is they will be able to post and read oh sorry we want that group in the group we deal with here we add that and now we can say that members that group for the for can read and post in the blogs which are categorized as acme in that group and everything else uh, basically gets uh, so these are the basic uh, uh, features same here which let us get to the result I showed uh, afterwards and then I hope we can also create uh, that's useless So we let uh, people uh, manage their own page and we let them create the structure and okay and we let them create categories okay what? Uh, let's just go to the creation of one of those objects like the uh, file galleries because that's uh, how we uh, create stuff so we do create some file galleries for clarity we uh, don't put it on the on the top uh, we create this the Acme uh, file folder which is categorized as Acme, that's the whole point, and uh, which is the here group monitoring and Acme, meaning that whatever happens there generates some uh, email they can get, and that should, uh, for example, allow. Uh, I know we don't have the, we don't have a user, but that's how you create a. Then you do the same. We create a blog, uh, a blog. You categorize it and it will be owned and then we create a, a wiki page and categorize it and change it into a structure and that will be the landing page um, as I said uh, th the rest is the steps by steps are here so you get the idea and you know the result we want to achieve so are there questions or